When people ask me, Louis, uh, what good book can I buy to order to understand the Bible? I have, uh, you can see in the back, there are a lot of commentaries. All these books are commentaries. This one's this one commentary of the New Testament. And you go further beyond up, you see commentaries of the Old Testament. And they cover the whole books. And they are going to talk about difficult passages. But do you have the time and do you have the money to invest like I have? I mean, it's been over... 25 years that I've been studying theology, maybe 28 years that I've been studying theology. So through the years, I have collected a lot of books. But I bring you a book that will help you. As you can see on your screen, The Hard Sayings of the Bible. The Hard Sayings of the Bible is a book that will help you understand those difficult passages that when you come across them, you ask yourself, what's going on in here? For example, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 34 and 35. Some people would say that when Paul is there talking about that women should be quiet, should not talk, contradicts what he said in chapter 11 of the same book, where he says that women can prophesy, can talk, because nobody prophesies without talking. So how come Paul is saying that in uh, his is saying later on that women should not talk at church. And then you find uh, uh, first, first Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 10, specifically 8 to 10, where also says that women should be quiet. Is he talking about be quiet at all places, be quiet in the church, or be submissive to the husband? What does he, what does Paul uh, mean when he says to be quiet? Because like I said, we see in his letters that women can prophesy. And in chapter 14, he goes on that everybody can prophesy in aura. But yet he comes to women and says, no, that they shouldn't even talk. So that sort of passages are dealt in this book. Um, it helps you to understand this uh, presumably, uh, presume. Um, Contradictions, because the enemies of Christianity, they love to pick on these verses and say, look, the Bible contradicts itself. Even Paul contradicts itself. Even within uh, chapters or from one place to another place in the same letter, he contradicts himself. So this book will help you very much to answer those critics, to let you know what's going on in, within those passages in order for you to have a sound knowledge, uh, not to be caught off guard, you know, um, Sometimes uh, I talk about this, uh, about 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34 and 35, on one of my Spanish-speaking videos, and somebody made a video against it, saying, oh, look at Lewis, he's saying this, um, I can spoil. And then I have to go back and said, look, this uh, conservative um, person um, says, uh, mentioned this, this other conservative person mentions, mentions, mentions this as well, and I'm not saying anything that contradicts uh, what we as Christians have believed for, forever. <laughs> but if people are not exposed to these type of things, they're going to misrepresent our faith. They're going to become more fundamentalist, I would say. And also, we'll call, call out everybody who doesn't think or believe like them. And that's the worry about um, such, such people. So, let me encourage you to, to get this book. Um, you will see uh, the link on the notes, or, or in, in, on the, down there on the notes of, the, of this video. And I, I invite you to get hold of it. Uh, it's an excellent book. It will help you to understand many things. We might, I'm not, I'm not promising, I'm not making any promises, but um, I might um, make some videos out of this book. Uh, so you can hear um, what the book says and also my own take on, on these issues. Um, I'm saying this because in Spanish, we, uh, a friend of mine and I were going to do a series uh, about this book, uh, hopefully a very long ser series. And, and I would like to do that for you. If you're interested for me to do that, can you please give me a like? Can you please leave a message, a, a, a comment down there saying, uh, oh yes, Lewis, do it, please. I, I need to grow in my, in, in my Bible knowledge. I need to grow in, in my faith. If you encourage me, I will do it. So, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel, 
leave us a comment. And also, um, don't forget to share this video so others can also learn and grow in their faith. Until next time, God bless you.